Yeah, I think specifically around Walmart, uh, in Q2, Walmart posted an increase in both uh, top line and bottom line. But I think that in Q3 and this quarter, specifically for a lot of retailers, we're going to see some mixed results heavily influenced by the macroeconomic trends, uh, primarily inflation and inventory glut. So on the one hand, uh, inflation is pushing average ticket size up because typical baskets are increasing in price. And Walmart, Target, Costco, Macy's, Kohl's, all of these retailers sell household uh, necessities and are also value players in the space. So as a result, they stand to benefit from capturing cost-conscious consumers. Uh, these two factors are essentially increasing revenue because one impacts price and the other impacts volume. On the other hand, retailers continue to face the inventory glut that has persisted these past couple of quarters. So excess inventory in shelves and in warehouses. And so as a result, many retailers are uh, looking to mark downs and additional promotions to move that stock. So this is going to squeeze their margins on the other hand. So I think overall, it'll be a mixed picture for the retail industry uh, in Q three and potentially even going into the holiday season. Shika, I saw an interesting chart from one of our colleagues, Robert Hum, showing how staple spending is eating away at discretionary spending. And you just alluded to that as well in terms of the, the consumer trends we're seeing. If you are an investor watching this program, which retailers are going to do well in a recessionary environment? Is that the correct breakdown to be thinking about? Yeah, I think it uh, typically ends up being uh, a little bit impacted by the macro economy. So you mentioned the, the looming recession, and I think still the severity of this recession is unclear. It might impact different regions and countries in different ways. Um, so the fact that we've got the layoffs happening in the tech industry, Twitter, Meta, Lyft, uh, and more companies having more public layoffs, Amazon being you know a, one of the larger e-com retailers to announce that it's going to cut jobs. Uh, interest rates continue to be high across the board. And so this combined with the persistent inflation that we've talked about uh, has only recently started to ease, but still is a big consumer problem uh, that a lot of the rate hikes you know, haven't fully been able to address. And there's all of the political turmoil that's happening in Ukraine and the war in Ukraine. So I think what's going to happen for retail specifically is that they're going to scrutinize the profitability of all their different departments, business units, ventures, and may make some tough decisions uh, to contain costs. And I think this is going to happen across the board, not just in a certain sector of retail. Now, to answer your specific question about which retailers will, will win, yes, consumers in a period of uncertainty, in a period of crisis, and recession tend to be more cost conscious and price sensitive. So what they do is they trade down. They trade down to retailers that are more value players. So we'll see Walmart, Target, the club channels, and uh, other sort of low cost, best value proposition retailers win in this space. However, at the same time, uh, I think we might see some of the other retailers, you know, have stormy weather up ahead because they're they're kind of losing the middle the the middle class if you will because folks are trading down. Uh, also, manufacturers, uh, private label is going to continue to gain steam because not only mm -hmm. are consumers trading down the the type of retailers they're buying, but the products that they're buying right. too.